Hi, it's Dylan here. I'm going to do a quick roof video of exporting media in uh, as an animated GIF and also as a image with transparencies for processing in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So we see how this goes. So here's my video. Just a character walking down the corridor. It's just one and a half seconds, so it renders pretty quickly. So what I can do is if I come up to export video via Adobe Media Encoder, or also known as AME, sometimes you see that in the forums, uh, or Control M on Windows is probably Option N on Mac. So what I do is it's always going to say save as an MP4 file. You just accept that. It's going to load it up into Media Encoder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick Animated GIF. I'm going to click on the GIF type and I'm going to come under the video settings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this file a bit smaller. So I'm going to wind back the quality of it a bit. I don't know what the right values to use is. And if I untick that, I can actually change the size. So I'm going to use 480. Um, with this little um, symbol here, it's going to keep the aspect ratio together. Uh, I don't know why it's going a bit funny there. Doesn't matter. We're then going to, oh, there it goes. We're then going to um, queue that up. And so here we've got this custom value. You can actually um, save different presets if you want to. So if I come up here before I exited, I could have typed in just a like on here, that arrow pointing down at a disk drive or something. It's called save preset. You click on that and you can give it a name if you want to use it multiple times. So I've actually created a couple of them. I've actually created one before called 480 Animated GIF, which was just basically the same setting. And away it goes. Just takes a little bit to complete. Now, one trick uh, in Character Animator, uh, my laptop's not always the fastest. My little thing's all laggy. Oh, stop moving. Still lagging. What I find is if you bring up Character Animator, if you get rid of the scene window for a little bit, close that off go away uh, it just runs faster it seems to chop a fair bit of CPU and then we're done so if you want to check it just click on the name it brings up the directory um, double click on it and he's got my animated gif which is quite useful for a variety of sources but what I'm going to do now I'm going to get rid of these files from a previous run Okay, um, so I'm going to now do a second one, which is um, I'm going to bring the scene window back up just to, so you can have a look. And I'm going to turn off the background because I'm going to export with a transparent background and then load that up into Premiere Pro and show how, or After Effects, and you can um, deal with it as a movie file, which is much faster, I find, to deal with in the other programs. It's not going back to Character Animator to reanimate it all the time. So let's do a control M to do a movie export again, which is just always an MP4 file here. We're going to come in and uh, had a previous render there. Come on, mouse, the other way. My computer struggles at times, so I'm going to pick. QuickTime. GoPro, this is the only format I've managed to find. It's GoPro uh, sign form with alpha. The with alpha is very important. That's how it's going to have a transparency. I'm going to kick that off um, and I'll come back once it's finished rendering. Just getting, cleaning that up. And what I'm going to do is then control I for import. Going to find the movie I just created. Imports it, uh, temp one, uh, drop it on top. And what you'll notice is I've got my character in front of the old background. Because it's just a video file, I tend to find it goes the speed, whereas if I'm dealing with character animator animations, my little laptop struggles to keep up with it. But there you have it. Uh, a file with transparencies. It's got the old underlying movie, which was just an old video I had lying around and I've managed to drop the character on top and you can use all the um, 
if you're in After Effects, you can scale it and use keyframing just to move that video around. But it's just going to take that video as a video file when it's merging it. Anyway, I hope you found this useful.